Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dave from NetCodeSource.com and today I'm going to be doing a quick video that's going to go over some tips and tutorials for the AWP and Counter-Strike Go. So, first, I just want to talk about the very basics of the AWP and one of the very basic things is your sensitivity. Generally speaking, if you are going to AWP, you don't want some type of a crazy sensitivity. You generally want something that's pretty low and that you can control, okay? Now, if you want your normal sensitivity when you're not scoped in to be high, you could simply have your sensitivity raised if you want it and then when you want it to be lower if you zoom in you could change it with this command zoom sensitivity ratio and mouse mine's at 1.0 you could change that to be lower and then when you actually have your normal sensitivity that's when you have a gun out and you're not zoomed in it could be higher that way all right guys the next thing i want to talk about is the change that they made with the off and as you can see when i'm stationary it looks just like the source scope there's, there's solid lines and you could always tell where your bullet's gonna go. But when you start moving, the lines become blurry and your op shot isn't necessarily gonna be where those crosshairs are. So if you stop and shoot, it's not 100% gonna be there and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna put in a command and it's going to allow me to actually have a crosshair with the op. Now you can see I have a crosshair with the op. And when I'm scoped and I'm moving, if you, see this on 720p you could actually see that the lines aren't actually in the middle of the dot so the line movements change with pop so when you're moving like this you might think you're on someone and you're aimed at them but you might not be because the lines are actually moving all right all right guys now i want to discuss different ways that you could peek with op so we all know that ops are great at holding corners like this but when you have to get aggressive there are a lot of different different ways you could peek um, you could definitely just straight peek out and quickly shoot but there are also two other ways that I want to discuss one way is to jump peek like that and then shoot um, there's a bit of a knee breaking effect when you do land so you kind of have to adjust your crosshair accordingly and make sure you aim down them the second way is what I call a slide peek and you simply crouch out like that and you kind of slide out um, that's probably my favorite peek that's what most people are using right now and it's very very quick from the other person's point of view Anyways, this has been Days with NetcodeSource.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll show a lot more basic tips like this, and also go into more advanced things like counter flashes, how to improve your aim, and things of that sort of nature.